Welcome back to Photography by Harrison in part two of our downtown night tour of Greensboro, North Carolina. We will start out at B. Christopher's. Because of all the walking we will be doing, we will need the energy from a good meal. That was a nice meal. Now let's head to Center City Park. Look, a couple of bikes are waiting if you want to ride instead of walking off your meal around the park. It is a nice evening to be in the park. If you listen carefully, you can hear the sound the birds are singing. The sound of the water flowing down the kettle or the ripples in the water can hypnotize you. The backlit fountain puts on a magical dance you can only see at night and with the help of your imagination. Visit the park one night and enjoy it for yourself. If you need another quick bite after your walk or ride around the park, guess what? Just a few steps away, Cafe Europa has a magical glow at night inviting you to come in and get your second snack for the evening. After enjoying your meal at Cafe Europa, and just a few steps away, step inside a jewel of Gifford County, the Greensboro History Museum. Did you know at night, the posters on the Stephen Tanger Center wall will come alive, and if you listen, they will tell you about the place. But before you get to the posters, look to your right. Is this a pink UFO, and why is it? No, it is not a UFO. Just floating artwork in the Libero Park, right next door to the Tanger Center. What is it about the magic of the night where even a simple doorway can be the gateway to another world? At night, something as simple as a street address has an inviting glow and a staircase bathed in light, inviting you to come inside and take a relaxing walk. Governmental Plaza during the day can be cold and uninviting, but it takes on a warm, inviting glow at night. Let's end our nighttime tour and raise our glasses to all the fond memories of our Friday nights at Stumble Steel Scans.